Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today Apple has seeded the 8th beta iteration of iOS 10 to registered developers and the corresponding public beta to those enrolled in the program being public beta number 7. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the changes in iOS 10 beta 8, how to upgrade to the firmware, how to update if you're on an earlier iteration of iOS 10 beta, how to downgrade and everything you need to know. Of course, there will not be a table of contents in this video down below in the description just because this is a super quick one and I definitely recommend clicking the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to that way you will be fully notified and informed when I release new videos talking about iOS 10 jailbreaking and of course the next iPhone because all of that's coming very soon. So we are here inside of Apple's developer center of course which does require you to log in and you will notice that we have iOS 10 beta 8 and right beneath where it says release notes and the build number you will notice its post date is today's date August 26th 2016. So what does the 8th beta actually have over its predecessor being beta number 7? Unfortunately, nothing really. See, Apple is preparing iOS 10 for release to the public because soon they'll move on to iOS 10 GM, which stands for Gold Master, and that's essentially the exact same thing as the production-ready build that's shipped to customers. So this is one of the very last iOS 10 betas. We may get beta 9. We probably will not get beta 10, depending on what Apple wants to do and whether we'll get another beta next week, which we almost certainly will. Will. But at any rate, this is one of the last betas. They're kind of just polishing things. We have no outward facing changes. They're just improving iOS 10 from a stability standpoint. And for those of you who may bring up yesterday's iOS 9.3.5 security release, those changes were already supposedly featured in iOS 10 beta 7. So it's reportedly already been patched in the previous version of iOS 10 beta. All right, so now how do you upgrade to it? Number one, you cannot be jailbroken. So if you are jailbroken, you don't mind losing your jailbreak, you of course will need to restore. That probably will not apply to really many of you, if any though. So if you are not jailbroken, all you have to do, it's very, very simple, is just navigate to beta.apple.com inside of Safari. Once you're here, you just need to scroll down a little bit and tap on where it says sign up and log in with the exact same Apple ID that you use to acquire things through the App Store with. After that, go to beta.apple.com forward slash profile, sign in again, and you may be required to just agree to the terms. If you receive this screen, just tap on agree. And once you do, you may be kicked back to the main beta page, in which case just re-navigate to beta.apple.com forward slash profile and install the profile. And of course, if you do have a passcode set, you will be required to enter your passcode and then you just have to reboot your device. After it comes back up, you're just going to launch up the settings application, go inside of general, and then followed by software update, and you will see an available update for iOS 10 public beta number seven, because of course that is how to install the public beta profile. It's exactly the same thing as today's developer beta eight. Really the only difference is just that it's dubbed public beta instead. If you really wanna get on the developer beta, then down below in the description, the first link, there will be info on the developer beta profile. However, they are exactly the same and it's so much easier just to get on the public beta. So I definitely recommend it. Again, over updating to the developer beta. But like I said, same exact thing. And those steps also apply if you are updating from an earlier iteration of iOS 10 beta, literally just launch up settings, general software update. If you don't see an available update for either public beta number seven or developer beta number eight, of course, depending on which profile you have, then simply reboot and check again. It's really that easy. And then to downgrade, you will actually need to utilize iTunes and acquire your iOS 9.3.x IPSW. And I do have an in-depth tutorial on that down below in the description, you will find it linked there. However, after that downgrade, your music app may not work properly. So I will also have a second tutorial for how to fix your music app in suing a downgrade. Of course, link down below in the description. And that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. Again, like I said, super quick stuff. Nothing really has changed much in iOS 10 beta 8, at least from an end user standpoint. Again, there are a number of behind the scenes improvements going on with developer beta number 8 and public beta number 7. And that concludes this video. If you guys want to be updated more frequently, again, just subscribe and of course, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.